Welcome to Toffee TV. It's the starting 11 show. Everton versus West Ham United. Goodison Park. 3 o'clock Saturday. <sighs> nice. Traditional. And uh, the last time we'll be at Goodison Park for a just over a month, I think it is. So uh, we need to try and get three points out of this one. I mean, we really do need to get three points. Um, but it won't be easy. It never is against West Ham. Always close games. Always difficult games. Um, but we've got to we've got to somehow get the three points. Something that we've really struggled to do. Goodison Park this season. So hopefully the atmosphere will be good after getting some points back this week. You'd like to think that. Um, the mood will be uh, a little bit better around the place. So hopefully that's uh, what happens at Goodison on Saturday. Let's get into it then. In goal, Jordan Pickford, uh, of course, England's number one. Uh, most amount of clean sheets is it in the Premier League this season as well. So, yeah, of course, he starts for us. Uh, right back, um, I'm going to continue with Ben Godfrey, I think, because I just think that, he gives us that little bit of pace, um, a little bit of strength, and you know uh, we just haven't had that consistency there. And he just seems to have given us a little bit of consistency, um, so I think that'll continue. Um, of course, you've got the likes of Seamus back. You've got the likes of Ashley Young available. Nathan Passes and play for the under twenty ones this week in uh, the Premier League International Cup against against uh, Fulham wasn't it and he done he done okay um so that's good it's good that he's playing but I think for me I'm just going to continue because I think that back four's been doing well could have done better last week for the equalizing goal against Brighton uh for Brighton sorry but I think just keep that consistency for now on the other side Michelenko again talk about consistency talk about so, you know, um, the defence being the way it is. Michelenko's been a big part of that this season. Very steady, very consistent. Um, and again, the back four is what we rely on. And the goalkeeper, those clean sheets or keeping the score down. Got one of the best defences in the Premier League. Have to make sure we continue that for the rest of the season. And Michelenko's a big part of that. Uh, and obviously the two centre-backs, James Tarkowski and Jared Branthwaite. The second best partnership in the Premier League. Um, so far this season, which is which is absolutely brilliant, considering that they didn't start as the partnership, and Jared Branthwaite had to come into the side after being on loan, and and he's established himself, and obviously got the goal last week. Um, he's got a couple of goals now, hasn't he, in his last four games? So that partnership goes from strength to strength, and is really the bedrock of where we where we. Where we are and in defence this this season to give us that platform and a different challenge for them this week with Jared Bowen, but yeah, they've been excellent and and you know both of them are showing week week in and week out just different sides. Obviously Tarkowski with all that experience, but Brantwaite, you know, you watch him every week and you just think what a talent he is and what a talent he he can become. There's really nothing stopping them, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, yeah, that's the back four anyway. Into midfield, managers revealed that there are a couple of doubts around players. Um, but he did say they both had a, an out, a chance. Maybe one better than the other. Uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to do Onana, I think, just by sounding, listening to the manager and listening to how he talks in press conferences. He hasn't written them off. You know, there's a there's a day of training before the game, um, and for me, I think he'll play. I think he's got to play as well, certainly home games as we move forward, because I think certainly against someone like West Ham, the on onus is going to be us to have the ball, um, and I think we need a player in the midfield who knows how to use the ball, and he and I think he certainly does. So um, I think he'll get over that injury, and 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 he'll. He'll he'll start the game and we'd have been week to week, and then after this game, I don't think we play for a couple of weeks after. I know one of them's international weekend, so we could play for for Belgium. But um, for me, I think get him through the game, and um, he should be all right. Alongside him, James Garner, who obviously has been in um, ever present most of the season. Um, so again, he'll he'll start. I just Garner guy. I just think. Kind of two injured plays in there, and he's the one I take care of because he he went off last week, didn't he? So take care of him a little bit more. 
um, start Onana next to James Garner. Um, and that's the consistency, I think, which is important for us in there. So, yeah, those two ahead of them, Abdoulaye Decore. Let's hope he can get back to goal scoring. Um, it's been a bit of a while now, hasn't it? So, come back the last couple of games, finding his fitness. Really unlucky last week, having one cleared off the line. But um, let's hope he can get back to it this week and get a goal for us that we, we so desperately, desperately need. On the right... Um, Going to go for Jack Harrison again. I think, um, again, it's about just finding a bit more consistency. Um, he's got to start on the right, really. And if he doesn't start on the right, you'd be looking for him to start on the left. Or even in the middle, if the court, if Onana can't play, I would imagine the court, he'll drop into a, a typical centre midfield role and Harrison could go into the centre. But for me, he's going to start on the right-hand side and just, again, just off it. Get you know opportunity for goals and assists. Get some crosses in. That's all we're looking for. That's just a little bit of a spark from our wide men in these games. Just be a, not asking for you know Kevin De Bruyne type performances. We're just asking for the to do the basics well, and hopefully that's what he can achieve in this game. On the left hand side, um, the manager has mentioned the uh, fact that Dan Juma is getting closer. I don't think he's close enough that he's going to be available for this game. And again, it'll be Dwight McNeil, won't it? I think, you know, set pieces are invaluable to us. Um, and really, that's where he's been, for me, in many ways, coasting along in the last couple of weeks. Because he just hasn't looked anywhere really near it. Again, last week, on the fringes of the game. Looks na- looks just knackered. Looks absolutely shattered by what it, you know what what's happening on the pitch and probably what's happening off the pitch. Does look like a player he could do with... A bit of a rest. Well, he'll get a bit of a rest in a couple of weeks, as I said, when it's time for those uh, the the break due to um, the FA Cup weekend and international weekend, and that's when he'll get a break. I imagine so. The next couple of weeks, he's going to have to put everything into it, and and then hopefully after that, maybe that little break will see a little bit more of a an upturn in his form. Um, we'll wait and see, but he starts on the left and up front. Don't want to Um I just. Uh, he hasn't scored since we played West Ham, so let's get come on break the duck in this game. But for me, and I'm, I know people have different opinions. But I just don't think we can play the way the manager wants us to play without Dominic Carvalho. Lewin. Beto is not anywhere near that level yet. Yeah, he's good coming on late and maybe stretching a game or 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 whatever. But I just don't think he's capable. And I think last week we saw that when he came on that anything in the air, he just. He gets dominated, so um, for me it has to be Dom, and hopefully you know he's got to get a goal sooner or later, and to quiet and stuff down. And I just don't think I just don't think Beto's capable of playing that role unless we change the way we play, and I can't see he's changing the way we play. Um, certainly not for one player who I don't think has got the attributes of a all-round Premier League player yet. So. That's my team. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know loads of people will be screaming and saying he can't play Dom, he hasn't scored goals. I, I look at I'm looking at the whole picture, I'm looking at who's on the bench, and I've said this most weeks. Dom's still having an effect on the way we play. Um and until that stops, then he, he'll get in my side. Un- unless Beto is tearing it up when he comes on the pitch. And he's not. So that's my start at 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll know at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon what Sean Dice thinks. But let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier where there's no advert whatsoever on any of the shows or any of the podcasts. So if you want a bit of that, click the link or uh, wait for the QR code to come on the screen. Thanks for watching. See you later.